Welcome to Crazy News. My name is Shweta Sinha and now take a look on today's headlines. Days after PM Prot, government goes with big Ayushman Bharat. Taliban stop exports imports from India. COVID-19 vaccine for children may be available by September. PM Modi to inaugurate rupees 80 crore worth project in Somnath on August 20. India extends full support to the UK for successful COP26 to be held in Glasgow. Prime Minister Narendra Modi from the ramparts of Fred Fort asked for full penetration of over half a dozen key government schemes to all beneficiaries. The National Health Authority laid out an ambitious plan for the bigger rollout of Ayushman Bharat scheme to cover the more beneficiaries this year. Union Health Minister Mansukh Mandavia since taking over June, he has been pressing upon officials for massive acceleration of his scheme in the line with the PM's vision of providing free health insurance of Rs 5 lakh to over 50 crores beneficiary in the country. In a presentation to the minister on Wednesday, as the scheme completed 2 crores hospital admission and 12 crore beneficiary now have Ayushman Bharat cards, the NHA has now said the aims to deliver 10 crore Ayushman Bharat cards in the financial year alone and extend free hospitalization benefits to 50 lakh people in a quarter. The scheme was launched in 2018. This is a big target as it taken the government three years to distribute Ayushman Bharat card to 12 crore beneficiaries so far. Till the end of the last year, in fact, only 7.87 crore Ayushman Bharat cards has been distributed before a three months campaign was launched at the start of 2021. The Taliban has stopped all imports and exports with India after entering Kabul and taking over the country on Sunday. Dr. Ajay Sahai, Director General of Federation of India Export Organization, told Ani that currently the Taliban has stopped the movement of cargo throughout the transit routes of Pakistan. Thereby stopping imports from the country, we keep a close watch on development in Afghanistan. Imports from there come through the transit route of Pakistan. As of now, the Taliban has stopped the movement of cargo to Pakistan, so virtually imports have stopped. India has long-standing relation with Afghanistan, especially in trade. India has a large investment in Afghanistan. Vaccines for children may be available by September and the trial for inoculating those between 2 to 18 years and the underway, Priya Abraham, director of the National Institute of Virology, has said. In an interview to India Science, an OTT platform of the Department of Science and Technology, Abraham said phase 2 by 3 clinical trials are in process for those between 2 to 18 years of age. Hopefully, the result will be available soon and they will be presented to regulators probably by September or just after September. We may have a vaccine for children. This is co-vaccine, she said. The trials for Zaidu's Kadila are on the vaccine can be made available for inculating children. Even that will be available, she said. The NIV is a body under the Indian Council of Medical Research under the Ministry of Health. Last month, Union Health Minister Mansukh Mandavia has told BJP MPs that COVID vaccination for children is likely to start soon. Currently, only those who are 18 or above are eligible for vaccination against coronavirus. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will inaugurate multiple projects related to the Somna Temple in Gujarat via video conference in August 20. Home Minister Amit Shah, Culture Minister Kishan Reddy, Gujarat Chief Minister Vijay Bhai Rupani, and Deputy Chief Minister Nitin Bhai Patel will also attend the function. PM Modi will dedicate project worth Rs 80 crore for his home state during the inauguration on Friday. The project which are to be inaugurated including the Somnath Promenade, Somnath Exhibition Centre and the reconstructed precinct of Old Somnath during the event laying to the function stone of Sri Parvati Temple will also be done. While the Somnath Promenade has developed under the Prasad, Scheme at a total cost of Rs 47 crores, the Somnath Exhibition Centre developed in the premises of the Tourist Facilitation Centre. Displays the exhibits from the dismantled parts of the Old Somnath Temple and sculptures having Nagar-style temple and architecture of Old Somnath. Stating that India is always committed to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, 
framework and its Paris Agreement and will work on constructively for the successful and balanced outcome at COP26. Minister of Environment, Forest and Climate Change Bhupendra Yadav extended India's full support to the UK for COP26 to held in Glasgow in November 20 this year. The Environment Minister had detailed meeting with Alok Sharma, COP26 President-designate. The UK in the New Delhi today, wherein they discussed issues relating to the climate change, COP26, India-UK 2030 roadmap and the other related matters. India believes that climate action must be nationally determined and strongly advocates the differentiation and Openization of the flexibility provided by the UNFCCC and the Paris Agreement for developing countries should be at the core of decision making. Indian 4 into 400 meter mixed team runner with the three color after winning the bronze medal in the Nairobi on Wednesday. India grabbed their first medal on the opening day of the World U20 Athlete Championship when the India mixed team finished third to climb bronze medal in the 4 into 400 meters final in Nairobi on Wednesday. That's it from me and my team. For more updates, keep watching Crazy News.